Hi Makers! Today we are making a lay from artificial flowers. This lay was inspired by our first lay tutorial made from tea leaf, carnations, baby's breath, and songs of India. Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more lay tutorials. For this tea leaf base, I am using silk tea leaves I purchased from a hula supply shop. Each leaf is 7 inches long and for an adult lay you will need about 50 leaves. I have braided 3 pieces of twine long enough for my kahoa lei. I am using hot glue to attach my tea leaf pieces to the twine. If I fold the tea leaf piece in half over my twine, it is not quite long enough, so I am folding it over about a quarter of its length and gluing it to itself. My glue is going onto the tea leaf itself and not the twine, and there is no overlap of the individual tea leaf pieces. I'm keeping them separate so that when the lay is worn, my base will lay flat when stretched into a rounded shape. For my top pieces, I am cutting out my desired shape using stiffened felt. For this lay, I am using a half moon shape. Using needle and string, I am sewing these pieces on. I am attaching these first because once I add my layers of artificial flowers using hot glue, it will be harder to sew through those layers. I want to fill in any gaps of my tea leaf base. I'm cutting my leaf pieces in half and gluing them directly to the felt. I have my lay in the shape it will be worn and I'm gluing the pieces on at different angles to fill in any gaps. My first layer is recreating a fresh layer made from Songs of India. I found it more cost effective to use a variegated leaf that I liked instead of using an artificial Songs of India plant. I got this bunch from Hobby Lobby and used about two bunches. I'm peeling the leaf off of the plastic stem. I'm cutting each leaf in half to use as my Songs of India pieces. I am folding each piece in half and securing it with a dab of glue. I'm gluing each piece onto my felt following the shape of my half moon felt pieces.
My next layer will use carnations. This is a real touch flower also from Hobby Lobby. It is great quality and looks realistic. I only needed one carnation for the entire lay. Remove the head of the flower from the stem and peel off the individual layers. I'm going to cut off each petal. I am using three to four petals for each piece and gluing them on following my half moon shape. My next layer is baby's breath. These were a little tricky to work with because we're just gluing down the stems. I did cut a few heads of the baby's breath and glue those down as well. My final layer will be my tea leaf rose. I'm using a larger tea leaf piece that is about 12 inches long. The artificial tea leaf is a little harder to work with. You can also use ribbon for this layer. I will also post an in-depth tutorial making tea leaf roses with faux leaves as well as ribbon. The tea leaf I'm using does have a front and back side. I'm starting with the front side facing up. Using a dab of glue, I'm folding down the right corner. Following this diagonal, I'm rolling this edge in to create the center of my rose. Roll the edge halfway in and add a dab of glue. Fold the left edge backwards and flip the leaf under itself, bringing it to the center. I will continue to flip the leaf and bring it to the center, adding a dab of glue every two times I flip it to keep it in place.
I am really excited about how realistic this lily looks, and I'm working on tutorials for some other styles using artificial flowers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments.